guys and welcome back if you're new here my name is Megan I'm a mom of three I have two-year-old twins and a an five and a half month old baby and I today I want to talk to you about one of my all-time favorite baby items and this is the skip hop baby activity center it's like a grow with me type of thing and again these are not sponsored this is just my favorite stuff that I wanted to share with you so as a physical therapist I was very concerned overly concerned with my twins of container babies, which is basically your baby's always in something, a bouncer, a seat. It doesn't count the floor. It doesn't count activity mats, but they're always in something. So I was always very aware of that. And I also was very aware of stuff that puts your baby on your toes. So you really want to try to avoid like, I'm not a fan of like the jumpers or anything that has your baby putting weight just through their toes and not having their feet flat. Now, if you have a bouncer, this is totally not to shame you. And if their feet don't touch flat, that's fine. As long as you're doing the whole, like having them in there for like 20 minutes and then doing something else, you know, this is really for the people that leave their baby in for an extended period of time or, you know, all day they're just going in, 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 and they're not really doing anything else. It cannot be great but everything in moderation and even this I use in moderation so Bridget goes in here like if I need to use the bathroom if I need to cook dinner she's generally in here maybe 10 minutes tops and a couple times a day she doesn't spend a lot of time in here but it is also good for her development because she's standing up she's working on her core muscles she's reaching for toys you know there's a lot of good things that come with this so I will show you how this converts, but this actually converts to a table and then I'll show you the chairs. I have the chairs for it. So I just reconverted it to this for Bridget when she was five months old and got the twins a new table because really at three, they've kind of outgrown, outgrown the chairs. So that's what's great for this. I have not put it away. It has literally been used since my twins were little to now as a table and then back to this. So. You don't want to put your kid in this until they have, they can hold their head independently, I think is what the instructions say. But for me, it's also their trunk. So you can trial it and put them in the seat and you could also always put like a swaddle blanket above or behind them to kind of pad them. The first time I put Bridget in, she rocked back and forth in it and I took her out. She was definitely not stable enough. Now she is stable enough to lean forward and reach the stuff. She can sit up in it. And if she starts to kind of throw herself back. I know she's getting tired and I need to take her out. So it definitely works on her core strength, but you definitely want head control. And I would say you want a little bit of trunk core control before you put them in here, but you can try it. Cause I put her in a little early. She flopped back and forth and I was like, nope, she's not ready. So I took her out. So this is, comes with a bunch of toys and these are very easy because they just pop on the side like so so you can take them off they have a suction it's suctioned under there so they have a suction cup and then they pop on so you can take them off and clean them and you can wipe this whole thing down and then you can also move the toys around the only thing you can't move is this piano the only place you can move the piano and I will show you is you can take the piano out and put it on the bottom and then there's actually like a clear let me just show you, you can pop this piano out and then it has this is clear I'll show you so this part is clear and you can move the piano under here and then they can kick it with their feet. So I see then they can see through there and kick it with their feet. So I generally have not done that because I just like having it up here. I like having the piano up here, but you can definitely put it in the bottom and have them look at it with their feet. And then this plays music. You have a setting where you press a button, it'll play a song. You have a setting where you can just play the keys or you can turn it off. And then all of these toys can move around. Like I said, you can take them off and it wipes down super duper easily. You can put the toys however you want. You can use different toys on here. I like these because they're stuck on here so they don't fall. I'll put like toys, other toys around here, but generally she ends up finding the other toys and they fall. So it is nice to have the toys that come with it. So it comes with this little owl that pops up. This twirls and you can move these. This is just a rattle and then these things just like move. So it definitely keeps her occupied. And then this spins, 
So I will spin her around in here. Like I'll put her in front of this, in front of that. And then as they get older, they can learn to spin themselves in here by using their feet and get themselves to all the toys. This I like because it comes out really easy too. You can pop this out. And then again, you can clean this, which is nice. And then this just has little like plastic hooks. So you can take this thing off. I've run it through the washing machine because I've gotten, it was in the basement for a year. So before I put it back together, I ran that through the washing machine and put it back on. You can wash it at any time, but it's also that material that's like real smooth. So I'll spray this down if she spits up on it and wipe it off. And then if I need to wash it, I'll wash it. So then that just pops in real easy. The other thing I really like about this is I'm gonna move the camera back, but the reason I love, love, love this one, and I will tell you there's two versions. If you look on Amazon, there's this version and then there's one that's like more of a white aesthetic cloud version. So it really doesn't matter. They're both exactly the same. What I love about this one versus like other brands is that it has a foot plate that you can adjust. So it has, if you can see, this adjustable foot plate. And I think this is great because this allows your kid's feet to be flat. Now, Bridget is taller, is bigger than my twins were at her age because my twins are preemies. So with my twins, I think I actually had to put a book on this so that their feet were flat. Bridget, her feet are flat on this. So this is what it looks like. This is where you can put the piano if you want to look through the window. And then these, you just, let's turn it so you can see. In case you have this at home and you're struggling, you just push this all the way in and you can move this up or down. And you want all four to be the same. And then that moves the plate up or down. The plate does move a little, but it allows you to position your kid's feet flat. And then you just push this button to pull the top out it's hard to do with one hand but you push that button and you can pull this green thing out to take this off when it's time to convert it but you know that your kid needs to go lower if their feet are flat they're pushing and their weight is no longer in this so seat. if your kids feet are flat on this and they're no longer in this they don't have their weight in the seat anymore then you know it's time to go down a little bit or if their knees are bent and when they straighten up they come out of the seat then you need to bring this down you want them in the seat and their feet flat so you can take this whole thing off and then underneath you can store these little things the straps and it becomes a table so i'm gonna leave the toys on just because i don't want to have to take all the toys off this just comes up here as a table this just snaps into the top as a table and then where the piano was you can either put the piano back or you can use that for crayons so this just would snap in when the toys are off. Okay, so these are the chairs. They're very simple. They come in packs of two, and I think they're like $30, which makes the table a bit expensive. But honestly, like I said, it's great if you're only having one child, two children, whatever. It lasts till about three. I would say my kids could probably still use it, but they're definitely outgrowing it at three. And it was a good time to switch it back to a baby um, activity center but you could definitely get a lot of use out of it. So they kind of come up to here. That's the height of them. I'll show you on this side. So it's the perfect little height for kids. It doesn't really have a good back, but it's perfect for toddlers. So I want to show you guys what a baby looks like in it. So generally I'll put her in front of a toy or whatever toy I want, but I just put her little legs in and she likes it. Here you go. As you can see, her feet are flat. When she stands up, her knees are a little bent, but when she straightens them, she still has her weight in the seat. So this is definitely right for her. Right, sis? You can spin her. I just watch her feet when I spin her. And she can play with all the toys. Right, sis? And she's okay to lean. If you're worried, you can put a little blanket here, a blanket in the back, but then your child may not be ready for it. But if that, you know, makes them a little more comfortable, gives them a little more stability. You like it? It's a good girl. Ready, Bridget? What do you think? What do you think? Show her feet again. Nice and flat. You can tell she has weight in her seat. 
and she still has a long way to go because there's four more settings so she can be in here for a while. Right, sis? Do you like it? <laughs> and she loves being up and playing with the toys, right, sissy? Yeah, there, she just turned herself a little bit so she could play with the toy. So she loves it, right, sissy? This is literally one of my favorite baby items, and I think that you should definitely put this on your registry. It's a great registry gift for somebody that wants to spend a little bit more and get you something really great that can last forever. I hope if you were questioning, you know, if you should get this, seeing it like up close really helped you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.